Hey mamas, this is Mama Shira and welcome to DIY Mama Tribe where you can find DIY and craft tutorials that you should do in a nap time or two. So I had this idea to make this plush ball for my baby, Amelie, because she was taking the cat's toys. Anything that had a bell in it, a little jingle to it, she was taking their stuff, which I don't mind so much. I mean, as long as it's not one of the toys with catnip in it, because I think that would be bad. But I didn't want her necessarily fighting the cats for their toys, and they were also really small, so she would throw a ball or a ball would roll and end up under the sofa or under a piece of furniture and then she'll have a fit because she can't reach it and so I just wanted to make something that was bigger was only hers that had a bell in it and was soft so I had some felt on hand and I thought that I could pull it off I do run into some trouble on this one but it's okay because I recover and let's let's just watch it. Let's just get into it. <laughs> so guys, this is what I started with. I drew out kind of a loose template of what I wanted. I knew, knew that I needed about six of these kind of leaf shapes in order to produce a ball for the baby, the ball shape, the sphere. So I took some felt in a bunch of different colors that I just had on hand, kind of drew out the half of the shape and then figured that I would get it more uh, correct if I put it um, in quarters. Like I was more likely to have the shape to be symmetrical if I cut in quarters. So I just did that in all of the colors that I had and then since I wanted to make some tabs, I also cut some strips of ribbon that I had on hand and all these bright colors. So here I am, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, this is the jacked up version that I tried at first, but the steps are the same once, you, once I make the correction, and you'll see what I mean later. So with the right sides together, that's with the tabs facing in, I sewed all of the pieces together along the curve and then um, stuffed it, but it wasn't quite, I don't know, I think it was too big, like the shape was all wrong. It was like this weird oval sort of thing. I couldn't get enough stuffing in and it was just bad, just pretty much not working. So I took a break. I grabbed some chocolate and a coffee and just thought about my life. <laughs> So when I went back at it, I was thinking, okay, these, I can use the same amount of felt. I just need to cut down the pieces. So I unstuffed it and then cut down what I thought would be a much better size ball and a much better shape. I essentially needed the leaf shape to be more elongated than it was wide. So I once again folded it so that I can get all sides symmetrical and cut a much smaller piece, making it more long than wide. Hope this makes sense. And then I just pin right sides together. Well, cut all of the pieces out um, from the existing messed up ball and cut down those tabs as well. I didn't do as many tabs because I thought about it. Like she's gonna want this to roll and it's not gonna really roll if it's full of tabs. So there's my, I have a new stack of smaller pieces of those leaf shapes. And I basically go down, after I cut down my tabs again, I pin them on just on a couple of pieces. And so leaf by leaf, right sides together until I have about all six together. So I just go one piece at a time, 
sew them all together. And on the last piece, I sew from the top to about two inches down, back stitching on either end, and from the bottom to two inches down and back stitching again. And that's so that I can leave an opening in order to put the stuffing in. I also wanted to make sure that all the pieces touched at the points. And you're gonna see, I don't get it like perfect where every single one is like making this perfect kind of starburst shape at the top and bottom, but it is closed and they're all touching. <laughs> And I just had to make sure I overlapped my stitches in order to make sure that happened. So once everything was together, I had that opening that I left in the center in order to stuff it. And I put a little jingle bell into the center of this so it would make noise whenever she shook it or rolled it and I just stuffed it jam jam super jam packed and you see I have way fewer tabs on it they are much shorter and I'm just going to stuff the stuffing in as best I can and do a little whip stitch to close this up and that is it that's the ball If you saw my video about how I was mending some of the plush toys that had burst open either in the wash or from my baby playing with them, then you'll this will look familiar. But it's the same thing. You just go in one side and out the other, which pulls the two pieces of fabric together. And that's a whip stitch. At the end, I just make a knot and it's secure, it's good to go. There it is. And my baby absolutely loves playing with this. Okay, so not terrible, right? I think it, you know, it does what I need it to do. It's not like the perfect little thing that you would get from a toy store or what have you, but I think it's sweet, you know, it's something of her own. And yeah, it's made by her mama and she can have it until it rips to shreds. I don't know. <laughs> so if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, please. 